Okay, so for just Christmas, I got my wife gave me a company Jewish Bible um, that has like accurate translations straight from Hebrew to English, and then also gave me a comic book about cats, and then this other cool thing here. I'll show you. Ta-da! And it's upside down because <laughs> it's through the mirror. Basically, it says. Right, shoot, edit, repeat. Let's see. Right, shoot, edit, repeat. Hoodie! Basically, a filmmaking hoodie. It is really, really cool. And I'm wearing a hat because it's cold. But Christmas week, and I have some stuff on my computer to show you, so my week starts right now. Let's take a look at what I'm doing with the short film. First, I'm going to see my computer backdrop. You see the map there. We're going to pop up a little program called Virtual Scape. And I'm going to show you uh, a few of the sets, basically, that I'm going to be using for the stop motion show called uh, Tales of Valhalla, The Aftermath Chronicles, Season 1. So I'm going to click over here and show you uh, first the, it's going to be a, just a small set, it's going to be one of the first sets you'll see in the first episode, and it's where you, um, you're going to int introduce one of the four main characters. As you can see, Virtual Scape is really cool, you can, you know, provide elements um, tiles and stuff and eventually you come up with this 3d look so you have the image and an idea of what you need to do as far as setting up a set and as you can see you see uh, the little figure there by that tree in the lead and we're just going to turn it all the way around and show you what it's going to look like there. So the camera, this is basically where the camera will be positioned and this is how it will look. Although it will probably be zoomed in more on the figure. So you won't see anything to the side other than figure and trees. And so the figure will be landing there. we will be moving off to the left of the screen. And that will basically be the scene. So probably like the amount of time, the screen time this little set will get is probably like maybe 20 to 30 seconds, if that. It might get condensed down to maybe 10 or 20 seconds, so that's how much screen time this little scene set will get. And But this is just this is one of the smallest sets. Let me go for a big one now. Let me show you... Here it is, the Crumland Desert scene. So this is Crumland Desert area. And this is like the last episode of the season, but it can be introducing two other characters. And there they are, and they're basically guarding a piece of wall in the middle of nowhere. And see how I have the sand tiles up, almost to imitate like sand dune type areas. And as I twist this around, you're gonna see what it's gonna look like. This will, this will basically be most the most where the camera viewpoint will be is uh, focused in on these guys from this angle, this position. And as you see the 3D element provided here, and you see the wall spire up there. Looking nice. And they're basically just guarding this thing, wondering why. It's supposed to add like a little bit of a satirical comedy element to the series. <clears throat> These guys guarding this place and basically wondering why they're there. 
cool function for this virtual escape. This virtual escape just awesome program to work with. I mean, people usually just use it to build build their sets to actually play the hero escape game, but I'm actually using it to build my sets and not even have to worry about taking them from my attic. I just build them here virtually, and then I know exactly what I have to build when it comes time to the day of the shoot. So it cuts down my planning and build time by days, practically. So those were two places I made up. Now let me show you a piece of set that is probably going to be familiar. There's going to be a couple of familiar areas that have originated from the game. Uh, Mygal's Tomb and Table of the Giants. And I'm going to show you Table of the Giants in a second. So basically what I did is I just built what was originally used uh, within the game and I basically added on to it. So as you see here is like the 2D map and I basically just built around what was the original set from the original game. So that way people will be able to recognize, oh yeah, that's a giant's table. I play that all the time. And as I turn this around, you see I added like a little bit of road, extra ruins, trees, a little, a little pond. Just give a little bit more interest uh, to the scene and provide a lot more space because there's going to be a lot actually happening in this area. As you see, with you can see the little Maro warriors uh, coming up on the four uh, protagonists of the show. And this also, this whole virtual scape also provides me a great leverage for my voice actors. So to give them a better idea of where their characters are, are residing, how they're moving, uh, what environment are they in, it's much better to show it than actually describe it. Uh, can't say enough about this virtual scape. It's just an awesome program to work with, and I'm just so glad. I was able to thank you guys from the HeroScape chat group on Facebook that recommended me this page. It has saved me so much time. Moving on to other things, let me show you some uh, some editing that I'm going to be doing stop motion, just for stop motion testing in a second. Into video editing a little bit. And I'll pop up on the screen my iKit Movie 3.0 editing software. Not the best stop motion shop, the, not the best stop motion software out there, but it's good, and for the price, it'll do what I need it to do, and sometime years in the future, I'll probably get something a little bit better, like Dragon Frame or something like that, but right now, this is what I'm going to use with, so just got to work with what I got. One thing I like is there's a whole series of um, sound effects uh, throughout this whole thing. But as you can see, I'm testing out like the T3i photos that I took, and I took a picture of Nivok Saw, and just him walking out of the frame. And there he is, you know, lighting's good, nice little clear image of him, really just a five second shot really. But as you can see, I just basically laid out the visual track, laid out the audio. And I basically got it right now to where it's just ready to render and uh, put through my other editing software. And what I'll do is I'll end up posting this at the end of the vlog, just so you guys can see the full uh, resolution of this. But yeah, it's basically it. I kit movie software. Doing a lot more editing of this in the future. <laughs> But, and that's pretty much it. There's a little tour of my computer. I'm sure I'll be back here since now I have the software to actually do this type of thing. It's a lot of fun to do. Uh, but here is actually a map of uh, Valhalla. Here, let me move some of this out of the way. There you go. Valhalla map. This is basically where Tales of Valhalla, the Hero Escape stop motion adventure show will be through and kind of center mostly around this area for the first episode you're gonna have the uh, protagonist drop down through here get something and then travel all the way back up north to their home base 
And that will basically be the first season, just resolving around this area. Then you have some bad guys in that area. And then close to the end of the season, you're also going to have um, that wall spire desert scene in this area of the map. But in the later seasons, we'll be all over the map. I mean, there's going to be a lot of places we'll go to. There's different places or different areas. So can't wait to create and design those sets and explore this world as much as possible. Anyway, that is it for this week, and I'll see all you guys next time.